This is Tomo News for Monday, February 5th. Cop pulls teen from burning car. It's 2.30 a.m. on January 28, 2018, and an Oakland County deputy is in pursuit of a speeding 18-year-old driver. This chase seems boilerplate, but things are about to heat up, drastically. When the driver tries a left turn, he loses control and crashes into some trees. To make matters worse, his car catches fire. When the deputy arrives, he switches from pursuit to rescue mode. The 26-year veteran officer uses his baton to smash the car's sunroof and then hauls the 240-pound suspect to safety. If the officer didn't act as he did, this driver would have been toast. The driver reportedly smelled of alcohol and weed when the police found him. He was treated for a possible broken leg and other injuries following the crash. The officer, who remains unidentified, was praised for his actions. According to the Detroit News, the suspect was arrested for DUI and fleeing and eluding police. He was released pending further investigation, blood test results and criminal charges. United to get tougher on passengers with comfort pets. After the misadventure of Dexter the very dapper peacock last week, United has gotten tough on emotional support pets. From March 1, 2018, all passengers flying with a support animal will show documentation showing their pet has behavioral training and is vaccinated. So phonies best beware, this is the friendly skies after all. Passengers currently traveling with comfort pets need to show they're in legit need of their animal. They have to give United a letter from a mental health professional and 48 hours notice of their plans to travel with the animal. Otherwise, well, as we've said before, beware the friendly skies. Train Collision in South Carolina Two people are dead and dozens more injured after an Amtrak train collided into a freight train early Sunday, the second deadly Amtrak crash in less than a week. The accident occurred in Casey, South Carolina, as Amtrak train 91 was traveling from New York to Miami with 139 passengers and nine crew members on board. Freight giant CSX managed tracks in the area, but had dispatchers manually routing trains since signal systems were down. Amtrak 91 was cleared to go straight down the main line. But the way the railroad switch was aligned meant the train was instead diverted into a side track where it crashed into a stationary freight train. The impact destroyed several freight cars and caused the Amtrak train to derail. Two crew members were killed and 116 passengers wounded in the collision. The National Transportation Safety Council is currently looking into the crash and will focus its investigation on why the rail switch was lined and locked toward the siding. So far, officials have recovered the front-facing video camera from the Amtrak train, but have been unable to retrieve the event data recorders from either train due to the catastrophic damage. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> <笑>我給你給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給他給
Yeah, right. Venezuela announced that it will enter the cryptocurrency market with its launch of the Petro Digital Coin. According to President Nicolas Maduro, the Petro will be backed by oil, gas, gold, and diamond reserves. Maduro said the government will issue 100 million tokens, each valued at the price of one barrel of Venezuelan crude. That would value the Petro issuance at just over 6 billion U.S. dollars. The government said the cryptocurrency will help the cash-strapped nation make financial transactions and overcome U.S. sanctions against the country. Venezuela's actual currency, the Bolivar, is in freefall, with the nation in need of basic necessities like food and medicine.